One, two, three, four, four decades, four decades around the sun. I just want to say a big, big thank you to everybody that took the time out of their schedule to wish me a happy birthday. It truly means a lot. How does it feel to be 40? Fantastic. And I never thought that it would feel this fantastic, especially back in the day when I was celebrating my 21st birthday, where I'd anticipate when I would turn 40, feeling like an old man, feeling like everything was going to go downhill from there. But that's far from it. I feel fantastic. And because I'm a reflective guy, I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I've really ta taken stock of at this point in my life. The first is what has been. The journey so far, not only celebrating the highs and the successes, but also some of the disappointments and failures that have reaped so many valuable lessons that have shaped the person that is me at 40. And I'm grateful for that. Taking stock of what is, which is so important. Why? Because by taking stock of what is, and I know for me, by looking around me and the amazing people that I have in my life, starting with my family, my wife, my princess Annabella, my extended family, my amazing friends, I feel like a very rich man. I am a very rich man, rich in the heart. And I'm grateful for these people in my life. But also, thinking about the future, what could be. And it's part of that journey of evolvement. It's part of that journey of growth. It's really important to think about what could be, both professionally, especially in the work that I'm doing, which I've got so many exciting plans moving forward, looking to continue the impact that I am endeavoring to make on the lives of young people, but also older people, empowering them to get the monkeys off their backs. So I'm really excited about the future of what could be professionally, but also personally with my family, my daughter, as she grows so many wonderful milestones ahead and those around me as well, fostering rich relationships and enjoying many wonderful experiences and memories. What could be? And so I'll leave you with this. And this is a quote by one of my favorite authors, a guy by the name of Jim Stove, who says there are three keys to a happy life. And for me, it really sums up my journey thus far and moving forward. Number one, something to do. Number two, someone to love. Number three, something to look forward to. And for me, with where I'm at, I've definitely got something to do. It's really important by the way the work that I'm doing. I've got many people to love, but also I've got so many incredible things to look forward to. And I'm grateful to God for these blessings. I'm grateful for the people in my life that have shaped me, influenced me, and contributed to this journey. And I encourage each and every one of you to make the most out of this gift of life. Don't play small. Go after your dreams. Be fearless. And at the end of the day, always look to serve and make a positive difference into the world of other people. And here's the thing, our circumstances are never permanent. They're only temporary. But the positive impact that we can make on the lives of other people will always remain permanent. Cheers.